Hello friends, Ben Hackney here. Um, now, now, that I, now that I see myself in the camera, I feel like this is, I feel like, how are you supposed to dress up all these things? Hey, so, uh, no, it's, it's not really enough. Oh, nope, nope, nope. No. Greetings, it's, no, uh, this, why did I think this would work? Hello, did I push the right button? Oh, hello. There we go. That's so much better. Hi. Hi. Uh, my name is Ben Hapke. Welcome to my little studio where I make picture books and comics and all kinds of other stories. Um, I thought I'd talk to you guys today about um, a little part of the creative process, which I think uh, that it's part of the process for making comics. It's part of the process for making picture books. I think it's the most important part of the process of writing and drawing uh, stories, uh, whether it's a comic or a picture book or um, a script for something, whatever it is, anything that has anything that has an element of storytelling to it, uh, I think this is just an invaluable part of the creative process, and that is notebooking. Uh, the idea of keeping a sketchbook and the idea of having a good philosophy of sketchbooking and notebooking. Um, I, I think of the sketchbook and the notebook as um, simply a place, uh, like a basket. It's something to catch ideas as they fall out of your head. You might think about your story or some project you're working on and you might say, I, I've got it. I've got it all planned out in my head. It's going to be amazing. And you want to jump right into, say, if it's a comic or a graphic novel, you want to jump right into making pages. And that's exciting. But I've found that um, you can have the feeling of having the whole story existing in your head, right? Um, and then when it comes to making pages, uh, it's too much. It's too much to keep in your head all at once. And you can't. It takes some time to develop an idea and to take that whole shape of it and put it in some smaller form. Uh, that it isn't immediately jumping into to making pages. When I think about notebooks and sketchbooks, um, I often find myself thinking of m one of my greatest, probably my the greatest artistic hero of mine, and that is uh, this guy right here, Leonardo da Vinci. Um, he was one of the greatest products of the Italian Renaissance, um, and we don't know him just for painting. One of the things, one of the world's treasures, is his notebooks because he kept thousands of pages of notes and drawings and sketches and so his handwriting he wrote backwards in his notebooks um, nobody's quite sure why whether it was a code or whether it was just his way of writing um, but the point is the notes made sense to him and that's what was important and he was curious about everything so his notes range from uh, weird faces of people that he saw on the street to drawings of birds and um, fanciful designs for contraptions that he invented and and he just like it was a space for him to have boundless curiosity and as I said uh, catch ideas as they fall out of his brain and we see pictures of his notes that are just so gorgeous and so beautiful the Vitruvian man is perhaps uh, the greatest uh, of his notebook drawings but there's still just some drawings that are just you know doodles he did a lot of just doodling in his notebooks so uh, a notebook is a safe space for you to feel free um, 
to just scribble your ideas down. And that's how ideas develop. I feel that with the best ideas, even when you're chasing the best of ideas, I think that, that you just have to do a lot of versions of these ideas. You have to dig through a lot of incomplete or even not so good versions of any idea before you get to the really good stuff. So um, my personal notebook uh, system uh, is this, and I, I usually have uh, multiple notebooks and multiple sketchbooks going at once, but I have two main types. And one type is a small, uh, these are Moleskines or the 19, uh, what kinds of these, um, the Lecterm 1917 ones. Um, and in these, in these, in these notebooks, uh, I just, I post notes and scribbles and lists and I write a lot, um, maybe design pirate flags sometimes. Um, Every once in a while, like statue designs. Uh, sometimes I take it out with me and I sketch the people around me. That happens occasionally, uh, not as often as I'd like, um, but that's what it's for. Um, stories, lists, ideas, adventures, uh, and then simultaneously with that, I also have I also keep a larger notebook. And sometimes these are project specific, like. Um, this one says projects October 19 to June 2020. Most of what was in here is the third Julia's House book, uh, which incidentally is why I'm wearing my, my pink chucks because that's what Julia wears. And this is much more visual. So the notebook uh, tends to be writing and scribbles and things like this. This tends to be visual development for any particular project, moments in a story. Um, and uh, bits of bits of design. Here's a good page. Stuff like this. Bits of design work. Creature ideas. Um, it's all good. And, and like I said, none of it has to work well. And none of it has to be particularly finished looking or beautiful. These are just your ideas. It's private. You don't have to share it. Um, it's getting you closer to uh, building the thing that you might share, right? Finally, Final word about this is I like to use, for my sketchbooks and notebooks, I like to use cheap and inexpensive materials. I use a recycled Strathmore notebook, and I just buy a bunch of moleskins and treat them as, as if they don't, they aren't precious, right? I do, from time to time, get, uh, I always feel like I get suckered. I, I occasionally buy fancy sketchbooks and um, fancy little journals uh, because they're beautiful, and I love them. But the problem with these, for me, is that I always... I always feel like if, if the book itself is so beautiful, I feel like every drawing has to be beautiful or perfect. And, um, and I find I draw less. I find like I treat them um, a little more preciously. And I don't think that's good for journals. I think uh, for journals and sketchbooks, I think, you know, um, my idea is that you, you want them to be uh, just accessible. Like if, it, if this drawing doesn't turn out, you know, just move on to the next page. Just burn through those pages and don't feel like, um, just burn through those pages. Anyway, uh, that's my, that's my little ramble about, about notes and, uh, sketchbooks. And I hope you guys have good creative days. Hang in there. It's good to see you virtually. I'm not sure what's going on.